Today, we are going to learn how to crochet a cute snake plushie. Are you ready? Start with a magic ring. Wrap around your finger, bring it in front of the working yarn, grab your working yarn under it, and then chain one. Now we're gonna do six single crochets into the magic ring. One, two. Grab your marker and put it under your hook. I'm using a ribbon because it's a, you cannot split it when you work with it instead of a yarn. And now going back into the first stitch, we'll do a continuous spiral here. We'll do our first single crochet. We'll be increasing in that next round. So we'll have two single crochets into each stitch for a total of 12 stitches at the end. So into the next one we do two. And I'll meet you at the end. Before you go to the next round, we're gonna attach the tongue for the snake. So with your crochet hook, do a chain of five. And then leave a longer loop here. Cut it and then we'll add it here in the middle. Get a smaller hook so you can go through the middle of the magic ring. Or before you tighten it too well, grab your end. And then inside, find a little stitch just to make a little chain here and secure that tongue. And you can weave it in as well and if you have longer yarn you can do a few more chains and now you can really secure that magic ring here and then go ahead and do the same thing with the magic ring you go and you do a chain inside so it doesn't come apart all right there it is so we are going now into the next row bring your marker so we don't lose count of our rows. And we'll have an increase, a row of increases here again. The first stitch will get an increase. So two stitches into the first one. And then the next stitch will not gonna get increased. So just one stitch and then increase. And then just one stitch. And we'll repeat that till the end for a total of 18 stitches. So the next two rows, four and five, will be just regular rows with no increases, just one stitch into each stitch for a total of 18. So I'll meet you when I'm done with those two rows with no increases. Row number six, we have five single crochets and one increase. And we'll repeat that three times total for a, for a total of 21 stitches. And I'll see you at the end of the row. Move your marker. And a row number seven will have three increases. So two stitches in the first three stitches. Every stitch will get two stitches. Those are the first three. And then we'll have seven single crochets. And then we'll have another three increases. And then we'll have eight single crochets. And I'll meet you at the end. So we got 27 stitches in this row. Row number eight, we start with a single crochet and increase. And we'll do that three times. So another single crochet and increase. And one more single crochet and increase. Then we have seven single crochets here. And then we we'll repeat the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have again a single crochet and increase that we have to repeat. That's why it's separated. One single crochet and then one increase. One single crochet and then an increase. And then here we should have eight stitches left to the beginning. And they'll be just single crochets. We should have 33 stitches at the end. The next three rows will be just simple stitches, no increases. We'll just go for those same number of stitches three times. 
and I'll meet you when I'm done. All right, so after those three rows, we'll have some decreases. So putting my marker again, first we're gonna start with seven single crochets. Then we'll have a decrease. So we'll be grabbing the front loops of the next two stitches and we'll pull a loop through them for a single crochet. And then we'll have five single crochets after this decrease. So we'll have another decrease. So we are grabbing the front loops. Make sure you tighten so you don't have holes. And after this decrease, we'll have 15 single crochets. And then we'll have one more decrease after that. All right, so the next round will start with decreases. So at this round, we got 30 stitches. So now we have to go to 24. So we'll start with a decrease here. And then we'll have three single crochets. And we'll repeat six times. And that round now is getting smaller and smaller. At this point, you can also put your eyes. So find the bumps here where those increases were here and go under them on row five. One, two, three, four, five. So between five and six, you can put the eyes and leave about three to four stitches between them, the backs. And you can always start stuffing as well at the same time. So as you go for the body of the snake, you're gonna start stuffing and you just go and continue. So with this row, we should have 24. And now we're gonna go back to 18 stitches. So we'll have two single crochets here. And then a decrease. And we'll repeat that so for six times till the end of the row. Two single crochets and a decrease. And I'll meet you there. Now we have to go back to 15 stitches and we'll have four single crochets and then a decrease for three times. And I'll meet you there. So from now on, for the length you want, you can just go in continuous spirals for the whole body of the snake. I did about 34 inches for the body and now I'm ready to decrease the tip of the tail. So we're gonna grab our yarn and since we had 15 uh, single crochets, now we're gonna have to go to 12. And this will happen by doing three single crochets and then a decrease. And that's gonna repeat only three times. So because we are decreasing three stitches and I'll meet you at the end. So now we're gonna go to nine stitches, which will be two single crochets and a decrease for three repeats again. So now we have nine stitches. So from here we'll be going to six, which will be one single crochet and one decrease. Here, From here we'll be grabbing our needle and we'll just close that top. And now grabbing the front loops two by two with your needle, just draw a loop there. And this will close the gap here, the little hole. So the yarn I used for this little guy, for this little snake is a medium four weight yarn. I did use four millimeter crochet hook instead of the 5.5 that was recommended here. For the little tongue, I used a smaller hook so I can go through the middle of the magic ring. And of course, a needle for the tip of the snake's tail. And this is 100% acrylic yarn. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel, watch the next video with the next little toy coming up, and I'll catch you in the next one.